Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a big one. Um, this is for my NYX UK and Ireland Face Awards entry of 2016. Uh, it was a witch doctor idea, but it sort of just turned into a half skull. Um, yeah, I didn't have time to fully do a whole chest piece. I hope you guys like it. And hello to my Instagram for more of my work. And yeah. Hopefully I'll see you in the top 20. Okay? Okay. Okay guys, so first off you want to start off with any pencil or liner. I'm using the Rimmel Cappuccino lip liner because uh, it's all I have. And you want to do an outline. So I'm starting off with the mouth where the bottom of the skull is going to be. You just want to look at reference pictures for this. Um, people do skulls in so many different ways that so you just need to sort of choose what your preference is and how you like it and just mark it all out. You don't want to add too much detail at this point because we're just going to be painting over with white so keep most of the detail off it, just add in the main features such as the nose, the temples and because this is the half skull obviously I'm only doing half of the face so you want to mark out where your lines stop and where they begin sort of thing but just keep the detail off for this section. So once you've got everything down you want to take Snazaroo white face paint. Now this is a water based face paint um, so it just means you add the tiniest bit of water to the um, panic thing of face paint and then mix it all in and just keep adding tiny bits of water to make sure it doesn't go too thin and streaky um, and I did about three or four layers, waited until it dried, did another one uh, until it was really, really opaque. Then I'm taking any talcum powder, you can grab whatever one you want, If even if you have a white face powder, but I didn't. So I'm really packing this on, I want to bake the whole of the skull, because when you do this and you put thick powder on the face paint, it's sort of like cracks and gives it a bit more texture when you're uh, shading and that's exactly what I want. I want to give the skull texture to make it look like it's not a part of my face and then I'm just brushing off the excess with a brush. <laughs> and then taking my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in number one natural ivory. I must just add that I do actually really like this foundation but I can do a review in another video. So I'm just going on the bottom half of the face and making sure that the skin below the skull is nice and concealed and it'll just round off the look. And then going in with my Gosh Mineral Powder in the shade 002 Ivory and I'm just setting um, that foundation. And then going in with Rimmel uh, Liquid Eyeliner, just a black eyeliner, and I'm just creating these two little sort of ledges. Now this is going to be where we're going to make the skull come off of the face. And then going in with MAC Give Me Sun and I'm going to start shading. I'm going to start really close to the lines um, of the bottom of the skull. Sort of want to focus it on one side mainly, but in these little crevices I am doing it both sides. I'm then going in with a um, darker contour colour, which I don't actually have the name of with me right now, uh, but I'll put it in the description, um, and a smaller brush, and then I'm drawing even closer to the skull. So every time you want to do a darker colour, you go closer in uh, until you hit black and then that has to be really, really close to the line. This is going to create the good shading that's going to make it look like it is coming off of your face rather than just sitting 2D on your face. I'm then taking that same liquid liner and I'm just going to create little teeth. Um, to create teeth, I just sort of do a little bulge on the bottom as the bottom of the tooth and then as I run it up just do a side for each side of the tooth if that makes sense um yeah <laughs> I'm not very good at the explaining things but uh you make these little like divots in each one uh, and I find that that gives the best 
look for a tooth. If that's what, what I'm saying. It's like half six in the morning right now. I'm trying to get this <laughs> done before I go to work. But anyway, uh, so I could be being talking madness. And then um, going around the nose. And this is, I'm using the liner uh, instead of going in straight first with a face paint. Because I want to create like a little, like the rough, like broken bits around the no nostril piece. Because this skull is not new in any way, shape or form. It's going to have little cracks and breaks and everything. And I found that this liner was probably the best thing to use um, for cracks in the skull. Because it's had such a thin tip. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going around the nose. Sorry about this bit, guys. You can't really see what's going on. Um, but I'm just going to create little triangles everywhere around the tip of the nose, if that makes sense. You should be able to see soon, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, and then afterwards, we're just going to fill the whole nose in black anyway. So it doesn't really matter what, how messy it is, as long as you just keep your lines quite neat on the outside. There you are, that's what I mean, I'm just doing little triangles if you look on the nose and then we'll just fill that in later. I'm then taking a black eyeshadow, giving it a bit of a frown and creating the uh, expression on the skull. So as we can see, we're starting to create dents around the skull where, you know, the facial, where the bones are going to be and things like this. So we obviously go at the temples, you want to create two little L shapes that look into each other and shade inward of the forehead and then do a little line coming off. Around the eyes, you want to create little divots. You can feel this when you actually press your fingers uh, around your eye and you can feel your orbital bone you will be able to feel how it should be. And then, uh, I have to apologise, I'm really sorry guys, there was a massive clip that just cut out where I was doing the eyes, so I'm going to have to talk you through it. And basically, I just took a the purple from the Sleek Makeup Bad Girl palette and shaded with a massive fluffy brush all around my eyes. And then, as I started using black, as I got deeper and deeper into the sockets, um, I'm then using... Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighters in Golden Light and Peach Light and I'm putting that in the inner corner then creating a wing. I can always recreate this eye look on its own if you guys needed that. And I'm, I'm really sorry that you couldn't really see this guys but I'm just going around the whole of the face with the eyeliner and marking around everything, just lining everything, creating lines and also creating little cracks in the skull. This is really just going to finish it off and you also want to add some highlights, some white highlights as well along the like certain lines where the eyebrows, sorry I'm yawning, oh, you know you want to stretch, it's like in the morning, <laughs> um, yeah just defining the teeth, uh, shading the teeth with give me sun and just deepening everything up, this is like part of the clip that I lost, um, really ridiculous and you can imagine my anger <laughs> going onto the chest i'm using that same cappuccino lip liner i'm just going to create this necklace with teeth hanging from it um so obviously you want to create this sort of shape where they're little triangles um but with a bit of a square top because it's all about the shading of the tooth is how you'll get it so you're going to fill them all in with white body paint face paint body paint either way um, <laughs> that's my phone okay now this is the important bit so you want to take your contour colour this was either give me sun and you want to create a line going horizontally across you want to shade down on one side you want to create at the top a little dot in the centre and that's going to look like there's a divot in the tooth which there usually is, that's the bit that goes into the gum, obviously. And then you want to just shade a bit at the bottom as well, but leave one whole side not shaded um, and only get darker 
in the smaller pieces. Okay guys, so thank you so much for that and I'm really sorry I didn't have the whole video for you. Um, please help me get into top 20 and top 5, top 10, all of them. So thank you so much guys and I'll see you in another one. I'm kind of liking this whole doing body painting video. I'm going to do way more. So thank you so much, Nix, for getting me into this. Bye.